Hey guys, it's Alex from Tactical Arbitrage here. How are you doing? I want to talk to you about the mismatch room. I love this feature. This is um, this is kind of cool. Uh, I've got a, I've gone over mismatches before, um, but I always get emails saying, "Oh, how come there's a mismatch here and a mismatch there?" Well, okay, so it works like this. Um, when the <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I have a cold, almost gone, but uh, it still occasionally repeats on me. Uh, so when uh, you're searching via UPC, which is Universal Product Code, it looks at the Universal Product Code on the Source Store, and it looks again at the Universal Product Code on the Amazon Store, and it makes a match accordingly, and so the matches are often very, very good. Now when a uh, match uses the title feature, then it looks at the, uh, it's, it's very close to actually just pasting that title into Amazon and then picking the first product on the list, which is often extremely good. There's more algorithms involved than that though, and we do it through the API, not through the uh, search feature of Amazon. But uh, we, we do find that there's more mismatches in these cases. Sometimes though, the title is perfect and so close to Amazon that a website may as well be UPC because just match after match after match. Other times, for example, we deactivated big lots. The title is so super vague, like um, like uh, you know, uh, cat cage, and then there's 50 or 500 cat cages on Amazon. It doesn't know which one to match it to, and so it's more difficult that way. So um, we integrated originally the global matching service, which means that you can take the uh, the title and you can. Uh, have a look at what it is matching to and you can go in and you can manually override that and you can actually put find the correct ASIN and do those matches and then it's permanently locked into the system and we get 10,000 a month or so new matches from members because it's a crowdsourced feature constantly updating and improving the database so every month we uh, more and more and more and more cleaner results however um, sometimes people set things like uh, their filters to be super strict. If you put in there um, a return on investment of say 80%, and uh, then if and then the software encounters a mismatch, sometimes the mismatches will have like wildly different prices, and so therefore it'll it'll show you if there's a uh, mismatch sort of like 185% or something like that. So uh, I think my wife's knocking at the front door, so I'm going to have to pause this quickly and go and sort that out. And uh, I'll come back and continue my train of thought. Okay, all good. So um, the mismatch room is what we integrated to deal with this situation. Now it's tantamount to sweeping um, products under the rug that you do not feel like matching then and there at that exact moment. So let me do a search and try and find some mismatches to add to the mismatch room. Okay, so uh, I'll do um, I'll do five pages on target, and we'll look for a mismatch. So I can uh, I can show you how this works. I've made it difficult on myself actually because it's, target is a UPC site, so I'm not going to see a lot of mismatches, but I'll see if something pops up. Uh, it does appear that these initial products oh okay <laughs> I wondered why there's only five items appearing on this page but it's because I actually set it to a gross return on investment at at least 80% that's a perfect example all right, so uh, the reason why we're seeing mismatches is because these particular items have got such a high percentage that when they found two wrong items, they've uh, the the change in price has actually shown. So we've actually managed to find some mismatches, which is perfect. So there's two things we can do. We can either um, try and find this product by searching for the title and then changing it here and then having it permanently corrected inside the database. Or, if we don't have a lot of time, we can just mark it as a mismatch. Uh, mark this one as a mismatch as well. And, uh, and then, they will appear in another room called the mismatch room. So if I go to the mismatch page now, you'll see 
all the items that everybody has decided to put into uh, the too hard basket. I can't be bothered to fix this right now. So if I go to say target, These are items that people have decided to put in here that they were not willing to match today, but willing to match some other time. Now, this is a great room for me to send in virtual assistants and mechanical Turk type people to do all the matches and therefore, when they are matched, reintegrate them back into the main matching area. However, it makes the quality of searches that we'll find here uh, much better. So. Uh, it's going to hide these mismatches from all future searches. So I'll show you how that works. So if I go to something which is just a title matching page, like say collections, etc., and I'll just do the, the default categories here, and I'll remove any return on investment here, and uh, pop that out of there, and we will just do just do two pages of collections, or actually it's only twelve products a page. We'll do say three. Hit submit. And I've got my cage set to five days, so I can tell that uh, possibly not many people have been here for a while. There's one product there in cage. Yeah, don't discount collections, etc., etc., guys. So, um, It looks like the cleanup crew has been through here before me already because I am only seeing matches. Aha, here's a mismatch. So, um, I can mark it as a mismatch and then later on go into the mismatch room and find uh, that product and, and or have somebody find that product and match it. Or maybe I want to have a quick look for it now while I'm here. Sunflower scroll toilet paper holder. Let's search the title. There it is. That is definitely the item. And nobody has fixed it. So I've got an extension here which lets me grab the ASIN directly off the page. Um, I'm going to edit that there. Save it. Okay, there is no return on investment on that product. However, it is permanently matched for all to see in the uh, in the system moving forwards. Um, had I not wanted to do that, and it is a fairly quick step a lot of the time, I could mark it as a mismatch. What I'd recommend is that you have a quick search for it first, and if you don't find it, then pop it in, mark it as a mismatch. Uh, this basket here, Country Star Woven Basket. There it is. It is. Search the title. Oh, sorry, I already did that. Um, edit the ASIN. There is no profit in that either, and the rank is pretty much nothing. Go to the next page here. But as you can see, um, using a couple of features such as global matching and the mismatch room then uh, items are getting clean, cleaned up all the time and searches are getting better and better and better. Um, what I will do now is show you an example of a mismatch page. I'm going to delete all the old data. I'll go the other collections etc and I'll do just page, uh, page one to, to three again. And I'll submit that. Somebody's been here recently, I can tell. Um, now I'll go view the data. And I'm looking for a mismatch this time on purpose. I want to not fix it as well. This one's hidden its image from me. Uh, it actually appears that that might be it, but uh, this one has a brand on there called Sentry and this one does not. So here's what I want to show you. I marked it as a mismatch. All right, now I'll come out of here and I'll delete the data. 
I'm going to do the exact same scan, just one page, that's all that's required. Submit. And I'll go back here again. And the, uh, the offending item has been removed. Um, so where possible, fix and uh, where you don't feel like you have the time to deal with it. And this happens more often, of course, with UPC, uh, so with title matches than UPC matches. But uh, where you can, fix it. So this one here, glow in the dark alarm clock, set of two. Oh, I'm not seeing it there. I will just do a quick Google search of the image. That is a mismatch for now. And I'll search for this one too. Metal sunflower wall clock. this one as a mismatch as well okay so everything that's showing on this page to you and to whoever searches it has only seeing the matched items now and uh, the mismatches are sitting there ready for us to fix and we'll be sending in an army at some point you can go and match them yourself and those matches will be credited towards your uh, monthly tally um, on the frequently asked questions at the bottom of the page we always have what the uh, rebates are that should say August actually but the August payout rebate and prizes below um, if you make a hundred matches for the month you'll get ten dollars directly deposited back into your PayPal account for the month uh, this month uh, first place winner is way ahead I don't think there's any catching her and uh, she will get twenty dollars a month off for the life of her membership every month moving forwards second place will be ten dollars a month off and third place five dollars a month off both those are, um, are all neck and neck, and anybody can win those at the moment. Um, you'd have to put a real effort in to catch the first place. I'll tell you what, she is hundreds ahead. Um, anyway, this is where we were at with the mismatch page. It is a fun page that cleans up, uh, cleans up the dirt and allows us to go and um, polish that up and put it back in, um, making even more matches. Or you can go and play yourself in the mismatch room and uh, make some matches yourself. All right, thank you, I'm Alex, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the mismatch page. Ask me any questions you want in Facebook.